Welcome everyone to this edition of the Colorscope Show. My name's Elizabeth Harper and my websites are sealwithlove.com and schoolforlightworkers.com. So what I'd like you to do is use your intuition to select either number one, two or three for a message from color, from the crystals, from the tarot cards that I have, <laughs> that I've chosen, but we don't know what's going with which at the moment. And also remember to stay to the end for the message for all of us. Plus, you can move your cursor along to your own special message and you can ask your guides, your angels, to guide you to a place in the video where there is a particular message for you that could be between number one and two or somewhere else, you know, special message for you. All right, you ready? Okay, so number one. Now I've chosen different colors, crystals from around my room. And the first one that's coming up for me for number one is this. This is what I kept seeing. This is one of the bottles that I created um, and it's sitting on my window. I have a number of different bottles for each of the chakras. This is the throat chakra. So this is that vibration that comes through the throat. This is turquoise. That's a turquoise. Turquoise and there's sodalite and there's uh, clear quartz as well on here. And it's just moving around. So, of course, with this, this is about you communicating. It's about you going with the flow. And with that turquoise vibration, it's about reaching up to heaven and bringing energy down and also taking your energy up. It's like a two-way street, right? And this almost looks like a, <laughs> a, a little bit of a, a head there that's like your, your mind maybe is opening up, is clearing. There's some clarity that's there for you. With this blue vibration, especially as I'm looking at it right here, I get this sense of looking at something very carefully and getting a better idea of what it is you need to do, that next step that you need to take. I'm feeling like there's a decision that you have to make. It's not gonna be the same for everybody, of course, but there's a sense of a decision that needs to be made and there's gonna be clarity that's coming in with that decision. But I get the sense of lots of research that's going on, that's that turquoise vibration. Lots of research, maybe on the internet, uh, communicating with people before you actually make that decision. So, let's see what card we have here. Let's move this around. I haven't looked at them, so I don't know what we've got. <laughs> guess what it is. Take a little guess. Intuit what it is. It's the throat chakra. So you double dip in there with the throat chakra, aren't you? So, of course, you've got two blues. Two energies of the throat chakra. And I'm wearing blue. So, this is very important for you. There really is something that you need to communicate, that you need to bring to the surface. There's an educational aspect, of course, that comes in with the throat chakra, and there's an expression of your creativity as well that comes in there. So there's almost a feeling of let something go, go with the flow, get all the information you need so you have an informed decision as well. Great. So. Number two, let's see what, <laughs> all right, number two, this is what's coming up for you. It's a puffalite, and I think we've used this before. This is a beautiful piece of a puffalite, and it's all sparkly, I don't know if you can see that, it might be a little bit, it's not very clear, is it, on here, but it's very sparkly. But the bit that I'm looking at, on the other side, it's almost like it's, it's almost like, you know, when you cut a tree down and there's that, there's the circles, there's the, the part in the middle and then there's all the circles that you see. It's like, that's what I'm seeing with this. This is the part that I'm focusing on. So I'm feeling as if, yeah, I'm getting lots of spirit. I'm feeling as if you are looking back at the past, you're looking back at memories, looking back at energy, maybe into past lives, and you're clearing something. A puff of light is about cleansing. You're clearing something, you're letting something go, you're moving something out of your energy field, but not before you've remembered. So it's almost like you are looking at the memories, and it could be that you're looking at photographs, photograph albums, 
meeting with family, maybe even meeting with friends that you haven't seen for a long time. And there's almost a sense here, and this is nice, there's nothing negative about this, it's very nice. There's a sense of you realizing how far you've come and, and this is a feeling of appreciation that comes in here when I, when I connect to this. So cleansing and connections are coming up with that. So let's see what, I'm feeling like it's this card right here. All right, so this is the Wheel of Fortune in the regular tarot deck. Look at that, it's a little circle. And of course, it's very much about that connection with others, connection with your friends, moving on, etc. Lots of movement. And again, we have that kind of circular vibration that's coming in right there. What's interesting to me, this is just an alignment that's coming into my head, is that in Orosoma, the number 10, which aligns with this particular card, is go hug a tree. That tree is your family tree. So it could be that you just need to reconnect. So I'm thinking of it as you remembering, but it may also be about you reconnecting with someone in your family, someone that you um, have a very strong bond with. It's not necessarily a family member. It may be someone that just feels like a family member. All right, okay. So number three, <laughs> this is what's coming up for number three. So this is Moldavite. And it's a nice big piece of Moldavite, but I kind of cracked a bit off the, off the edge there. Something dropped on it, and I've had this for donkey's years. I've had this for a long, long time. You know, when Moldavite was first kind of coming onto the market, that's when I got this piece, I believe. So this is kind of cracked on the edge. It's a sharp edges, but it's not too sharp. Moldavite, that green vibration, is about, again, reconnecting but it's reconnecting to other planes of existence and often to other planetary planes of existence, other vibrations are on, in, on other dimensions that are not necessarily on a human dimension. So we can think of this as an alien kind of existence, but we can also think of it as an animal existence as well, at least from my perspective that I'm, I'm feeling into right now. So this green energy links in with your heart, with your heart chakra, but it also links in with karma as well. So again, we're back to that clearing kind of sense, the clearing. But what I'm feeling is that that clearing is more around you recognizing who you are, your identity, embracing who you are, embracing your your gifts, embracing your individuality, and embracing your uniqueness. I'm sure that we've spoken about uniqueness before, and that's the feeling that I'm getting with this at this moment. So I'm also getting the sense of healing. So healing yourself. So it may be that you just need to go through some kind of healing modality, or that you are a healer and you're gonna help somebody to heal themselves and to find themselves again. Yeah, I'm feeling like there's a double, it's kind of like a double edge with that. So let's see which, I'm feeling like it's a top card. All right, so it says foundation and achievements. So that is, you see these people going into the home? So they've built something up, they've created something, they're coming together and that rainbow is complete, completion. So with this is sort of interesting because of that green energy, it's almost like what do you want? What does your heart want? What do you want to achieve? But also what do you appreciate? It's start having a little bit of gratitude around what's in your life, all those wonderful blessings in your life, and the people in your life as well. So there could be some reconnections for you too. So now our final, <laughs> our final stone and color is yellow. It's citrine, but it has this white on it as well. It's a, it's a little piece of citrine that has this gorgeous, such a lovely little cluster and these gorgeous little pieces at the top that are kind of darker and then it's lighter and then it goes white. And then it has that 
that same little piece on the bottom not kind of connected to that though I'm feeling more connected to this white and yellow and when I when I see these colors in people's energy fields, citrine is about success, by the way, but when I see these colors in people's energy fields, I know the angels are with them. So there's a real strong sense of angelic vibration, of angelic energy coming into your life this week. Oh, how lovely. And I feel almost, oh, I'm getting a little tingle all the way through. <laughs> I feel almost as if there's lots, you know, success for everybody, of course. And you can imagine that, I'm sure you're thinking, well, how can we all have success? There's success on different levels of being. It's not necessarily financial success or professional success. This can be success in relationships. It can be success, yes, finally I figured something out. Or success that you got through to somebody. You know, there's lots of different levels of success. So with this, I'm feeling that the white is a release. It's like that clarity again. And that yellow is, it's almost like coming into your power. Oh, so I love that. That's great. So let's see what the card is. Ooh, interesting. So it says suffering in silence. So what's interesting to me is this, this person is looking out to this yellow over there, right? Here's the yellow. And what I'm feeling that card is connected to is more of a sense of, well, so I've been back here for all this time and I, I haven't been able to achieve what I wanted to achieve. And I feel that that energy is saying that you can see it. It's right there. So all you need to do is embrace it, is move towards it, is make that bridge between where you are, where you are to where you want to go. There is a bridge there, you just have to create it. Or just walk down the mountain and move along to that next level. So don't think that you can't have something. Let that idea go because you can totally achieve success. It's all it's all connected to your intention and it's all connected to your gratitude as well. When you have an attitude of gratitude, when you thank the universe for the blessings, then the universe just gives you more. Okay, that's it for this edition of the Colorscope Show. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if the message has resonated for you and please share it with your friends. I'm sure they would love to have a message today. Also, remember, you can grab lots of free gifts on my website. The link is below. <laughs> Just click on that link. It's a clickable link and that will take you to my website and the page with lots of different free gifts and I will see you next week. Lots of colorishes blessings to you. Bye! If you want to find out when my next video is uploaded, I have them twice a week, connect with me on my channel. Just subscribe to my YouTube channel. I offer services. I offer different consultations. You can find out more about those on my website sealedwithlove.com. I will see you soon. Lots of colorishes blessings to you. Bye.